You guys been to the hardware store lately and done a calculation to realize how insanely expensive lumber is? Well, that happened to me the other day when I was checking out or getting ready to go and purchase a bunch of lumber for raised garden beds. Now, I had put together one of the most simple designs, picked some of the most cost-effective lumber. Of course, you want to stain it. And by the time I added that all up, I thought, man, this is really expensive for just a raised garden bed with simple supplies. Went on a quick online search and found what I think is a superior product for cheaper. So these are raised garden beds made out of what I believe is galvanized steel. They are going to be quicker to assemble. They are cheaper cost and compared to a wood with stain, I believe will last a lot longer. And fourth, there's no chemicals to leach into your soil. You know, doing a wood raised garden bed, you're either going to leave it natural wood and it's going to decay quickly or you're going to stain it and that's going to help protect the wood. But I'm sure you're going to get some leaching of different chemicals of some form. So this is one of those situations where I believe we're just in a time where lumber has gotten so expensive that this is just a better option. So learn from my mistakes before you go to that big retail lumber store to buy all your materials for raised garden beds. Do an online search. I'll try to find this product and uh, put a link in to the description so you guys can find it if you'd like as well. This is not a paid ad. This is not an affiliate deal. This is just a guy looking for the best possible solution for raised garden beds in a small front yard. Get your soil from the local yards. It's way cheaper, it's higher quality, and you're supporting a local business. These guys, he was so fast, I didn't even have time to record it. I was gonna record this outside the truck. We got our load. That's the uh, second yard, which should get us to our three garden beds. Don't buy your soil in small bags at like a retailer unless you only have like one little bed. This truckload of, it's a garden mix meant for winter drainage and healthy growth was about 50%, maybe maybe close to 40% the cost of what it would be to buy individual bags at those big retail hardware stores. So not only am I getting the product way, way cheaper by buying in bulk, I'm supporting a much more local business and getting a better product. So don't buy those little bags unless you have a tiny little raised bed. Google and find your local soil supplier. Make a drive, go out there with a friend with a pickup truck. It's a way better deal. It's better for the business. It's better for the local economy and it'll be better for your raised bed. The other big benefit to these being metal is I think they're going to take a weed whacker really well, meaning we have obviously foot trails through here and I'm not planning on laying gravel, although that could be a future project. Uh, I could just basically frame this entire space in, lay down some weed mat, put gravel down, and that might be a good future project. But in the meantime, I'm just going to be able to run a weed whacker through here when it comes time to trim the lawn and if I had a stained wood that would not go well with the weed whacker running around it. So that's about five advantages to this over building your own. Hopefully this is helpful and now it's time to load them up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
And here we have it. We decided to change the plan and just go with three beds for now, kind of saving some of the useful space of our yard. This is two yards of dirt fit in the small bed of that truck. The dirt itself was a hundred bucks, which is way cheaper than buying topsoil at a big box store. It was higher quality and supporting the small business. The metal frames for the beds not only will last a longer period of time, will be easier to weed whack between, was cheaper than just lumber alone, and will also hold up over time really well. So, I strongly recommend these beds over lumber, local soil over big box store topsoil that's super expensive and not that great a product. And now subscribe and follow along as we take our seedlings from our greenhouse, plant them in our raised garden beds, and create our own compost with a tumbler from just yard waste, food scraps, and all that good stuff, which will end up getting implemented into the garden beds as well. Until next time. My mission is self-reliance through sustainable living, and we're here to build a community. Click here to subscribe to be sure to get more awesome content for living off the land. And be sure to go in to enter for notifications. Click that bell, get notifications, and stay in tune. Subscribe, watch, and comment. Let's build a community. See you soon.